Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basico Service Node Learning. So this slide is already telling the motive of the video, right? So I have added a new playlist in my channel related to Service Node Developer interview questions. So I will add all the questions along with the descriptive answer in the playlist. So I will try my best to provide end to end understanding of all the questions and the answers, which is basically asked by the interview in the interview. So that you will easily answer the same when it is asked from you. So here the question is that tell me how to get the incident count based on the incident state category or let's say the incident updated today, right? It's a very basic question. So here I will tell you the technical answer of it means the code that how we can find it out. Also the oral answer of it. Let's say if you if you are not going to write a code or you have to tell the interviewer that if using the application you have to find out the answer then how you will be finding it out okay so let's begin so this question can be come in any of the form let's say how we can find out that how many incident are open resolved closed or in pending state the another way to ask this question is that how we can find out that how many incident are created against which category or how we can find out that how many incident of which category or state is updated today or in last seven days. So in this slide, basically we are focusing two fields. The first field is state. The another field is category, right? So while I will be explaining the answers, I will provide the brief of it. Okay. So for a technical perspective, let's move to service now personal development instance. So here let's open incident. In this way, I am opening a list view of incident, right? All the incident what we have in the system will get, get populated over here, right? So let's open an incident. So this is an incident record where we have a state. See, we have six states over here. New, in progress, on hold, resolve, close, cancel. Also, we have few categories like inquiry help, software, hardware, network, database, and password is set right so let's say if somebody wants to know that how many new incident we have how many in progress in, uh, incident we have same as for other states same as for the categories also right so if i want to know that how many incident uh, i will be having uh, in my platform related to network or hardware right so in this way interviewer can ask questions right so there are like two ways the first way is very simple let's say if you have to answer what you have to do you have to open the list view of incident right where you have to go to category see here we have an option let's say group by category so if we group by the category same we can say okay we have uh incident of database category that is of three same as for hardware we have 10 right in this way we can group by the incident based on category same if we want to group by with the state see we can go and we can group by the state right here we can say the incident what we have in the list means we have 12 new incident 20 are in progress, 7 are on hold. But this is a very basic answer, right? You're only just applying a filter and then you are telling the answer. But again, if you have to find out the same using the script, right? Interviewer can say that, tell me the script, how I can find it out. So that we also have to answer. So let me give you a brief of it that how we can write the script for the same. So what we can do here, let's go here, type background script. Okay, so for the demo perspective, I am writing a script over here, right? But when you have to write the script, you have to write in a business rule, right? Or you have to write in a script include so that you can get the count of the required incident or you have to use that data wherever it is required. Okay, so let's start. So let's say here. is down the state first okay so for this basically when we have to find out the count or sum or maximum or minimum right in that case we are using a glide aggregate class okay so i have already posted a video related to glide aggregate you can refer the same right if you need end to end understanding of glide aggregate so i will be also posting a link in the description to refer the glide aggregate videos.
okay so here let's start so let me put here then we say glide aggregate okay right then which table we have to perform this activity we have to perform on the incident table okay so see here if you go here in the incident see here also you have the table name incident okay so here incident now what i have to do this object what i have created above i have to use this object i am saying aggregate dot then i am saying group by so here i said at the top that i will be finding out the count based on the state right so i have to give the field name over here so from where i can get the field name i can get the field name from see here the backend name of the field let's say state right click see here we have the backend name of a field state right so i can put the name as in state over here okay also if you want to use you can use a extension that is uh, i think utils service now utils which basically help in a go you can see all the backend names and other things right so that tool is very helpful that extension you can um, add the same in your browser i have not added but you can add the same right so here i am saying that group by by state then again object dot then add aggregate so these are basically a methods what we have in the class add aggregate okay so what i have to do i have to find out the count so i have to use an aggregate as in count over here all right then i am saying that okay query so query the database or instant table okay then i am saying while aggregate dot next okay let me print the value and then what i am need to say gs dot print this is basically used to print the value and i have to say aggregate dot get display value of what state i just want to print that state in progress equals to that on hold equals to that right in that case i am taking a front end value of that field okay so front end value means let's say if we have a state value in progress on hold these are basically a front end values these are not the back end value so i want to show that new equals to 12 in progress equals to let's say whatever the value is right so display name basically send me the name of a front end value so here i am saying state give me the front name of a state then just put a concatenation here let me put something like this then i'm saying aggregate dot get aggregates okay so also i have to put count over here right so here i am done with the code so here this add aggregate is basically add an aggregate to the database query okay here the get aggregate see here it is basically used to retrieve the value of an aggregate function for the current record okay and this get display value as i have already said right that when you need to retrieve or get the display name of a field then you have to use a get display value field here the glide aggregate is basically a class in service now that provide a way to perform an aggregate function on a specified set of records okay so it works similarly to a sql group by class okay so here we are done with the code now let's run the script so see when i run the script it provide me a value new equals to 12 in progress equals to 20 on hold equals to 7 resolve equals to 1 and the close equals to 27 so when i group it by the state see the same values i am having here right so in this way through code we can also find out the values let's go back so as i displayed in the slide that first question was that where we have to find out with the state so that we did right now again if somebody says no you have to give us the answer based on the category right it means we only have to change the field name the logic the code is same the only thing is that we have to change the field so here we have to give a field name see here state instead of state we have to give a category right so let's see what is the backend name of category so the backend name of the category is category only right so let me put category over here 
and let me put category over here. Sorry. Okay, let's run. So see now based on the category, it provided me the value where it is saying null equals to four, database equals to three. Let's see if these values are correct, right? Go to the list view, uh, group it by a uh, category, okay? So see here, empty equals to four, where empty is basically a null, okay? Then we have uh, database three, hardware 10, I believe we are getting the same values, right? So in this way, basically, we have answered the second question. So almost the questions are same, right? The only thing is that, that we know that what logic we have to apply, what field we have to use, and what service now class we have to use, right? So when we have to take account of something, then in that case, we are using a aggregate. Okay, there was a third question also, where we have to filter the data in terms of category or the state, then in the last seven days, what all tickets are updated. Okay, so let's see how we can find out. So see here in the list view, if I have to filter the data, let me ungroup it, that how many tickets are updated in the last seven days. What I will be doing, go here, see updated. Then in last between, this week or you can use anything right depends on the filter you need or you can get, give your dates also so i'm just giving just for an example i'm saying this week okay and then run so it is showing me that only four tickets are there this week okay so let's see how we can find out so here we have already written a code right so what to do with it we only have to apply a filter the filter what we have applied over here so go here you can copy the query okay here we have another function that is add encoded query add encoded query right and we have to put this string over here that's all okay just a second let to make it a string okay so we are done with the code let's run it so here we are talking about the category, right? See here in the code, what we are referring, we are referring the category, we are not talking about the state, okay? So it is telling me the count that what all categories are updated in this week or the incident which is out of this category updated this week. So hardware one, network one, software two. So here let's say hardware is only one, software we have a count of two and network is one, right? In a similar case, we can also find out the state. What we have to do? As I said, right, we only have to ch change the field name, state, state, and run. See, done. One is in new state, two is in progress, on hold is one, right? See here, one in new, in progress are two, on hold is one, right? So in this way, we can answer the question. We can, we will be knowing that what basically we have to use, how we have to find out the count. But, but again, it is very much important that you will use this code or write the same kind of code to do a practice before appearing in the interview, right? So what I will do, I will post a link in the description where you can find out this code. Also, the understanding I have given for the class, uh, the functions, or the methods, what we have used here, right? All the information will be given over there, okay? Also, uh, I believe if you are interested in service-related topics, understanding, or if you want to connect with me, right? In that case, I am also posting a WhatsApp link uh, in the description. From there, you can join me in the WhatsApp, right? So I believe I will be helping uh, someone if it is required. And most importantly, if you are looking for any of the answer, right, might be you have given lots of interviews and like there were a few questions where you are looking for the answers. What you can do, you can post the same in this video comment section. Okay. And I will try to make a video on that. Also answer the same, right? I believe that's all for this video for this topic. Another video I will be posting in next two or three days, which will be helpful when you will be appearing in the interview. So if you are new to my channel and want to learn service now and to prepare for the interview, then subscribe my channel only and only if this video is helpful for you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.